Don't bother me, I'm working. Don't bother me, I'm working. So what's going on YouTube? So look, I want to talk to y'all real quick about uh, this whole economic crash thing, right? I keep seeing little notifications here and there, little articles here and there. My guy Robert Kiyosaki is talking about it. And I was listening to Robert Kiyosaki this morning in one of his, uh, his radio uh, broadcasts, whatever, talking about the economic crash that's supposed to be looming in 2016. And he said something that, that made me catch on to what exactly what was going on. And he basically came out and said that uh, he's trying to protect his wealth. You know what I mean? Like they, they were talking about how uh, him and the guy that he was talking to, I think the name of the channel that was interviewing Robert Kiyosaki in one of the videos I was watching was... Um, Oh, follow the money is what it was called. So, and Robert was basically saying that, uh, what well, a guy that was interviewing was saying how the whole entire system is basically a scheme, like it's a scam. And, and if you read your dollars, it actually says Federal Reserve note. And if you, uh, know a little bit about money, you know, that note is associated with debt. Like you have a car note or you, if you have some type of debt is, is, is a note that you pay on it. So anyway, and Robert replied to him, was like, well, it's a scam to the poor and the middle class. Uh, but for rich people like himself, uh, it's not a scam. Like, they enjoy it because they they, they, they beat the game, they they, broke, they beat the system, and now they kind of, they basically, the rich people manipulate the system. So uh, so what that made me realize, I th as I take that, listening to that, and then the things that I already know, uh, I kind of really don't care anymore about following if it's going to be an economic crash or not because uh, quite frankly it's two reasons number one uh, I don't see like look at the super the super rich the super wealthy uh, people like Warren Buffett and all of those type of people or if there's an elite Illuminati as people like to say why would they sit there and let the dollars collapse when that's the main way that they control the masses anyway they're already on top. They already control everything with the money that they have, so why would they let it crash? If anything, they will continue to manipulate it and make sure that it doesn't crash and do everything in their power to make sure that it doesn't. So that's one reason why I'm like, why even follow it anymore? Because I don't I don't see them letting it just collapse completely uh, because it'll destroy them too, unless they have a way of letting it happen where they can still either have to maintain the power they have or either gain, gain more power. So that's number one. Number two, most of us don't even have any assets or value or net worth to protect anyway. Like, I, to be honest with you, I think the poor people should actually be rooting for a crash because then we can, we, probably, we might be able to have an opportunity uh, on the horizon where we might can uh, start start fresh. Who knows what how they're going to go about it. I know in one of my last videos I said that they're probably just going to come up with a new currency and give you about uh, half of the value or less of the dollar amount that you had in the bank before. So if you had 50 in the bank, they probably give you 25000 of the new currency until you work with that. So that's just one of my theories and that's just one of the things that might happen. But who knows that some people think they're going to switch over to gold and silver. I doubt it. Um, so I mean, there's a list of things that could happen. But my points are, for one, I'm, I really don't see the rich letting it happen. And then if they, if it does happen, most of us shouldn't care anyway because we don't have anything to protect. Like most people have a negative net worth. Some people have a zero dollar net worth. Some people only have fifteen thousand net worth. That's not a whole lot to to panic over. You know what I mean? Like we str and, and we st especially if you struggle just to get that fifteen thousand dollar net worth. Like, I mean, really, like, is there really anything to, to, to panic about? If most of us are broken middle class anyway. So it's just something to think about. Also, too, if you think about uh, the bailout that happened where they bailed the banks, they bailed out the banks and the automotive industry and all of that. And some people say they, they tricked us into believing at first that they were just trying to protect jobs because if they, if they didn't bail out these companies, some of the people would have lost jobs and all of that. But really, the truth of the matter is that bailout was about protecting the rich. Because they want to protect the rich because they want to keep the current economic system in place. So the same people, the people that are in charge now, empowered now, can stay there. Because the people who are in power don't feel like the people who aren't are smart enough to run the world. Or are smart enough to handle uh, larger amounts of money than they already generate. 
They feel like if you, if you were smart enough to be on their level, then you'll fought through the system and, and got there. So, and that's and and just from looking and studying these people, because uh, I aspire to be at a, a very wealthy level at some point. That's why I study these people. But I also coming from the background that I come from, I know that I'm. I also look for corruption and I look for, you know, just to make sure that I, I stay aligned with my morals and values. So I always look at everything uh, from both sides of the coin, while still trying to maintain my, my growth and uh, trying to learn how to be wealthy and all of that. So. But anyway, that was just some points I wanted to throw out there. Um, of course, leave your comments uh, down below. Let's talk about it. Make sure you guys share, subscribe, like, and I appreciate you guys. And also subscribe. Thank you. AJ Simmons. I want to add too, so what should you be doing uh, to prepare for the economic crash just in case it does happen? Um, first thing I want to say is this. You also got to remember that it may not happen. So the first thing I recommend that you do is keep striving and, and as if it was as if it wasn't even happening keep striving trying to follow your goals and conquer them and live your dreams because the truth of the matter is it can it may or may not so there's always a chance that it might not happen too so that's the first thing next thing that you should do if you really feel like something is going to happen i recommend that you keep a or some firearms at your disposal at, 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 within your uh your home or whatever the case may be uh, you might want to keep some extra water or either learn how to filtrate your own water, clean your own water. So that way, if you go through a uh, like a Flint, Michigan situation, you can you know, find up. You make sure you have clean drinking water um, and just try to make sure that you maintain a, a decent amount of uh, non-perishable uh, foods. That's pretty much what I would recommend. I, I don't think that you need to rush out and buy gold or anything because you can't eat gold. Um, some people do recommend it. Robert Kiyosaki recommends that you get gold because you can trade. They say that's the real money. Uh, I mean, teach his own. I don't really know because I feel like at the level that most of us play on right now, um, you can't, you won't be able to buy a significant amount of gold, uh, for it to make a different, a real difference for you. And plus, like I said, even if it doesn't happen now, you got all this gold you're sitting on, um, that you really can't do anything with. You can't eat it. You can't drink it all you can do is resell it and hope to make more back on it than you bought it for so but that's my recommendations on it but don't panic just keep striving for your dreams um and, and i mean you got to use your own judgment man you gotta you gotta think for yourself and, and if you feel like it's gonna come then maybe you're gonna take more string measures than me but that's just my approach to the situation so thank y'all for watching i appreciate it